Hey, what is up mortals? It is James Seifer here, and before we get into today's video, there's a few things I'd like to say. Firstly, wow, we've hit 5,000 subscribers. Was not expecting that so soon. And, well, I guess I've got to stay to my word. See, a few weeks back, I was talking to some of you guys, and I wanted to do a giveaway. And you guys said, okay, I want a One's Justice giveaway. So, here we are. I'm going to be giving away one free copy of One's Justice to you guys. All you've got to do is be subscribed, leave a comment on one of the videos before we hit 6k, the giveaway ends at 6k, I'll be announcing it in that video, and yeah, that's pretty much all you've got to do. Liking the video would be su supportive, but I can't really track that. Anyway, into the video. Well, quickly before we get into the video, I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon. Firstly, Sora. You've been supporting me for a number of months now, and that's been awesome. Secondly, Gabstar. You've started supporting me recently too, and that's awesome as well. These guys are my $15 sponsors, and it actually makes a pretty massive difference. If you want to join myself on the Discord, or if you want to donate to the Patreon, the links will be in the description of this video. Now, actually into the video of What If Deku Was A Saiyan Part 2. Deku walks home and runs into All Might. All Might says, I saw what you did back there, and I wanted to thank you. Deku replies with, What? I, I didn't do anything to you. You're the one, you're the one who saved Bakugo. And myself! All Might says back, No, because of your actions, you inspired me to act. Deku says, Since I inspired you to act, do you think I can become a hero? All Might says, Yes, you have the potential. Tons of it, kid. Just keep training and you'll reach your dream by working hard. I'll be beginning teaching at UA this year. If you make it in, you'll be one of my students. All Might continues to encourage Izuku to train and actually try and get into UA. All Might points two fingers to his head and then points them towards the sky. Deku questioning why at this point ask, but before he can, All Might interrupts him. Farewell, young Midoriya. After this, Izuku goes home to actually pass out and sleep, but before he does, he reflects on what happened today. He wakes up the next morning a bit more determined to train, and since it's the weekend, he thought he would start today. He looked through the internet for a good workout routine and found he found out that there was this beach nearby. It, was, it used to be beautiful and just quite nice, but now it's become a wasteland of just rubbish. So he got out his teal jumpsuit and got out of his computer chair. Then he left for the beach. When he got there, he saw All Might and another kid. When All Might got there, he saw that this kid who was training there was in great shape. Izuku slowly walked up to them, a little bit nervous because that was All Might. When Izuku comes up to them, All Might asks, What might you be doing here, young Midoriya? Azuku responds, Well, I was thinking about how you told me a to train, so I dug around on the internet and found this. I thought it would be some sort of suitable training. I get to train all of my muscles while doing some good. Azuku looks at the other kid and says, Are you guys training here? Can I join you? With a little bit of caution, the two of them agree, and Azuku begins. Every now and then, Azuku would try and do what he did with the sludge villain, try and release this energy from his hand. He would also try and push things that he thought he was capable of, but wasn't quite. It was really odd, he felt like he could, but he, when he came time to actually do it, he just couldn't. Azuku was able to lift most of the rubble fairly easily, and after a few hours, he started to feel pain, primarily in his bones and arms. Azuku moved some lighter things before they finished up for the day. Azuku then went home and turned on the TV. His favourite show came on, and Azuku caught attention of this. However, he decided to watch it later, so he just set the TV up to record it. Azuku falls asleep and wakes up at about 5pm. He was asleep for about 2 hours. He was still feeling fairly sore, but decided to keep training. But before that, he had to study. He had a test on Wednesday after all. So after about an hour and a half, he had finished studying and completed the homework he had to do. He then went back to watching the show that he wanted to watch. It was a hero training show. You could see this hero training his muscles and bodies using weighted clothing. And, well, this method of training has stuck with him. So he decided to do that. He ordered some weighted clothing online, and after a few more days of out there training, it arrived. Azuku also started to pick up some sort of martial arts. He used to watch it a lot when he was younger, and, well, if he's got a super strength quirk, he might as well have some technique with that. So he begins to watch some martial arts videos. Now, it's been about six months. In that time, the beach has now been completely cleaned up by him and Mirio, and now all Azuku had to worry about was keeping up some of his training, and doing his classwork. The reason Mirio was training on the beach is because All Might wanted to be completely sure that he was ready for one for all. He didn't want Mirio to lose any limbs or anything, so for the last few months before the UA entrance exams, Azuku would train with 40 pound weights. He would also buy some heavier ones too as well. He would use these weights sporadically throughout the day. He would also go to several martial arts classes each week. Surprisingly enough, he was passing through the classes and belt classes fairly quickly. 
By the time it was the entrance exam mark, Bazuku had actually completed up to the red belt, which is pretty impressive, that normally takes about two and a half years to do. Azuku, during this time, had also picked up a little bit of meditation due to these classes, and it was during one of these classes that he felt something different. He felt a spark. A few more lessons go by, and he begins to focus on these sparks. He tries to move the energy to his hands, and when he does that, he can feel something coming off them, and when he puts them together, a little ball of energy appears between them. After a few more weeks of doing this, he's able to actually create the ball to the size of about a softball. However, doing this repetitively is rather exhausting for him. He wanted to create a special name for these, but he wasn't quite sure what to call it. He wasn't exactly sure how strong they were. Thinking back to All Might and how he's his favourite hero, and how All Might names all of his attacks after states in the US, Deku thinks to himself that he's going to name each of his energy blasts after a Japanese city. The first one he came up with is called Tokyo Blast. Azuku keeps training and before he knew it, it was time for the UA entrance exams. When he got there, he was more confident in his abilities, but less confident in his intelligence. He was walking down to the actual building itself, and then tripped. Luckily, he gets saved by Uguraka, like in the original. Azuku stands up and thanks Ochako. She asked him if he was right, and he nervously responded, saying, Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. She says to him, Isn't it so nerve-wracking that while we're talking here, the test is about to begin? He looked at her slightly confused of what she just said, not thinking that that really made too much sense. But then he realised that she was really, really beautiful and got really nervous. He goes red in the face and then quickly hurries up to the building. She just looks at him thinking, did I just scare him off? When Azuku goes in there, he's sat next to Bakugo, and he's very nervous that he's going to be going up against Bakugo. But then he finds out that he'll be in a different city to him. When Azuku gets to the city, he stands outside of it, ready to go, and then he sees that the girl that he nervously ran away from is the same one. He then hears present Mike say go, and Izuku looks around nervously, really confused, as everyone just rockets off. Everyone in an instant starts racking up points, as if it was nothing. 20, 40, 70, they were all going up faster and faster. And it seemed that there wasn't going to be any left for Izuku by the time he got in there. Izuku then gets in there and actually starts earning a few points every now and then, but then the massive robot comes in. Everyone is terrified of this and starts running away. But Izuku just continues to get points. He knows that he could probably get away from the robot if he needed to, as it was moving fairly slowly. Then he turned around and saw the girl. The girl that he had nervously run away from. The girl who had saved him at the start of this. And he saw that it was about to step on her. So Izuku felt the spark go all through his body. It was as if his body was moving on its own again. And when he jumped, he arrived at the front of a robot. He put out a hand, and he felt the massive surge of energy. Not like when he normally does it, but when he pointed the energy at the robot, it just fired out and he yelled, Tokyo Blast! The blast hits the robot, pushing it back and knocking it over. It doesn't break through all of it, but you can see the massive burn mark of where the blast hit the robot. There's a massive dent in it, as if it was about to be broken in two with any more pressure. As it falls back and hits the ground, it breaks. Azuku lands on the ground, hurting his arm a little bit as he falls on it. A little bit confused as to what just happened, and then he felt the wave of exhaustion. He felt utterly t just burnt out drained. After this, he walks away, fairly confident that he had passed, while everyone else is in shock by the sheer amount of points that this kid had. Azuku finished that test with nearly 200 points, while he thought everyone else was doing way better than him. Azuku easily gets accepted into UA by his point value alone. However, his written points were actually surprisingly better than what he thought they were. He was better than average. The next day, after Azuku finds out that he got accepted into UA, he goes out and gets a few things ready. Then there's a small time skip. It's now time for day one of UA. Azuku walks into the class, and everyone is looking at him. He quickly checks his clothes, thinking that he had messed up or something. And then he hears someone muttering, Is that the kid who got the number one score? Azawa gets out of his sleeping bag and says, It took you eight seconds to shut up. That will not do. Rational students would know that. Azuku is wondering if that was his teacher and why he was in the sleeping bag. But before he can even get the fort out, a racer head tells him, Okay everyone, go put your PE clothes on. It's time for quirk assessment. Everything goes pretty much the same as in the anime. Except for the first one, Bakugo gets 705.2 meters, and then he explains to the class that he's number one. And then a racer head goes on to explain, Okay, whoever gets last is getting expelled. The next one is the race. Bakugo and Deku are in the same race. On your marks, get set, go. Deku and Bakugo start to run, and Deku blitzes Bakugo in speed. 
Instead of getting a 7.51 seconds, he gets a solid 0.5. Aizawa is a little bit surprised by this. He's able to do 50 meters in 0.5 seconds. That's 25 meters a second. He thinks to himself, but speed alone isn't going to save him. Bakugo is just looking at Izuku, furious. How can that damn monkey be faster than me? Now it's time for the grip test. He got 56 kilograms in the anime, but this time, because of his power, he was actually able to crush the thing, and the last recorded number was 2,903.5 kilograms, or about 6,401 pounds. They do the sidestepping, and now it's time for the ball throw. Deku thinks about his mum cheering him, and how All Might said, you can become a hero. Azuku focuses some of his energy into his hand. He sees the ball actually glow from it. He seems to be channeling the energy into it. He then focuses as he throws the ball and it seems to shoot out of his hand. Aizawa shows the distance. 15,500 meters. And that was before the ball was burnt into a crisp and broke apart. All Might, watching from the sidelines as he was walking past to have a look at his class, is a bit impressed by the score. Everyone else is just shocked and Bakugo is shouting to himself, how can this monkey be greater than me? I'm the number one student here. The test went on and, and Deku is number one in all of them except for the ball throw since Ubaraka's was infinity. In this version of the event, the invisible girl is expelled from this. And that's it for this video. I hope this was longer than normal. I tried to, well, the writing team, we put a lot more effort into this one and we hope it turned out well. Now it's time for the reasoning behind things. Okay, are those numbers specific or arbitrary? Well, a little of both. See, we used a bit of scaling from Dragon Ball, seeing what Gohan could do, since Izuku is technically a half Saiyan in this, and not a full Saiyan. We were able to determine, okay, he could roughly throw it that distance, and why that number specifically? Because it would be weird to just say 25,000, or 2.5 thousand, or something like that. We like to have a little bit of a mix-up of the number, and 2,543 isn't much bigger than 2,500. It just adds a little bit more detail, and I like to do that. We like to do that. Why wasn't Mineta expelled in this part? Well, honestly, because in the parts if I do expel Mineta, it does make sense for the Invisible Girl to be expelled, except you cannot prove that she's not doing all those things better. But yeah, it does make more sense for her to be expelled, so in this part, I did expel her instead of Mineta, unfortunately. I wouldn't expect that too often, though. I'm probably going to stick to expelling Mineta. I don't like Mineta. Why did Azara expel a student? It's not like him to expel students. He... Okay, okay, okay. All Might quite literally said, Aizawa, that's not like you. You would have expelled that student. Aizawa is seen as an incredibly tough teacher. It's that he had warmed up to Class 1A as they're a bunch of heroes. Like, at heart, except for Mineta. I don't like Mineta. And I think that's it for this video. No, Deku is not a Super Saiyan. No, he cannot use Energy Blast without training. See, he got training in this. He did it in the original part, or first part, because it was an accident. He was emotional. He released energy on accident. He was emotional. I know I repeated myself. I'm going to end it here. So if you want to take part in that in the 5k giveaway, just leave a comment of this video. Yada yada yada. Like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, mortals. Have an amazing day. in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining.